Hello everyone, today I'm going to be having a look at another floor washer and this is a cordless floor washer by Tinco. This is the iFloor Breeze with one step cleaning, it's cordless and lightweight, powered brush head and a self cleaning function. This has a two year guarantee and a 20 minute runtime or up to 20 minute runtime. I believe this cleaner takes around four hours to fully charge when you first take it out of the box. Okay, without any further ado, I'll remove everything inside the box and we'll have a closer look at the Tinko iFloor Breeze. Here's everything out of the box. We get the cleaner itself, a storage tray, the handle, instruction book, a spare sponge filter, some Tinko deodorizing and cleaning solution and the mains adapter. The first thing you need to do is attach the handle to the main body of the machine. It just pushes in to the hole here at the top with the buttons facing towards the front. So just push it in. There may be a bit of resistance. Push it right down until you hear a click and that's assembly complete. For storage and when using the self-cleaning feature, Tinko have provided this handy tray. So when your machine is not in use, simply place the machine on top like so. There's space here either side. If you've got any spare brush rollers, they can be stored there. Before you use your Tinko iFloor Breeze for the first time, it needs to be fully charged and that will take up to four hours. The charging port on this cleaner is here at the back. So simply plug in and then of course plug in the adapter to a suitable main socket outlet. During charging, the blue ring at the top of the cleaner will pulsate. When the machine is fully charged, it will turn to a solid blue and then after about five minutes, it will turn off entirely. Approximately four hours have passed and my Tinko iFloor Breeze is now fully charged and ready for its first use. But before I demonstrate this cleaner in action, I thought I'd show you around the machine. Down here is the soft roller that does the cleaning. It can be cleaned after use using the self-clean function and I'll show you that towards the end of the video. But for a more thorough clean, the roller comes out. There's a little button here, just press that and the whole front panel comes off and you can actually rinse this through under running water, give it a good clean, especially if you've picked up some very messy dirt or a spillage. If a dog has done something on your floor, you don't want to leave that festering in the machine. So it's always best to take it apart and give it a thorough clean before storing it away. So here's the soft roller that just lifts out and you can clean that under running water. And while the roller's out, you've got access to the inside of the machine and you can just wipe that down with a damp cloth just to make sure everything's kept clean and ready for each use. So I'll just pop the roller back. There's a certain way it goes in. Let's make sure it seats fully home. There we go, that's in position. And then with the front nozzle plate, there are a couple of hooks just here either side and you need to make sure they engage with two square holes on the machine itself. So you just locate the hooks into the holes, make sure they're in place, pivot the nozzle back and then click it into position. This is the dirty water tank that obviously collects all the dirty water off your floor. There's a little button here to remove it and a little handle to carry it to the sink or loo for emptying. So to empty it, you just need to remove the white top it's going to be a bit stiff because it's brand new and there you go you just tip that down always rinse it out as well after each use and always leave these to air dry any sort of floor washer or carpet washer i own i don't put it back damp it's always best once you've rinsed it clean just to leave them like this out of the machine until they're thoroughly dried this is the washable filter we get a spare sponge filter as well that comes out and for some reason I've got some fluff in there. I did turn the machine on briefly just to make sure it was fully charged. I haven't actually used it though. 
So that sponge comes out and while that's being washed, I mean, it's just a sponge basically, you can rinse it under running water, squeeze it out. It won't take long for that to dry. But if you want to carry on your cleaning, you do have a spare. And then this is mesh here. This can all be rinsed clean under running water. So we'll just pop the sponge back in. That's the way, there is a certain way it goes in. There we go. Close that off. This is the float valve that rises up as the machine fills with dirty water. When the water tank is full, the float valve will rise up. You'll notice a change in tone of the motor. It'll be more high pitched and there'll be no suction. So you need to, at this point, empty the dirty water tank. And always make sure you put the filter in place before you use it. Again, it'll only go in a certain way. That's it. So the filter needs to be flush with the top. And again, it'll only go one way into the recovery tank. To put it back on the machine, you simply pivot it like this and then push it forward and make sure it's clicked into position. This is the clean water tank and you remove that in a similar way to the dirty water tank by pressing on the button here and out it comes. It's quite a small capacity. There's a maximum water fill line. You can put hot water in this, not boiling, up to 60 degrees. You've got a little flap here. Open the flap, fill it with the water and you only have to use one capful of the Tinco solution. Now you can use other solutions in the machine, but make sure it's a low foaming solution and it's designed for hard floor cleaning. And always just use a small amount, don't put too much in because you'll get excessive foam. I bought this particular model from Asda online and at the time of making the video, you can buy the solution direct from Asda or you might, might be able to get it inside Asda stores or possibly from Tinko's website because obviously they do further models, they do more advanced models than this. This is the most basic model they do without all the bells and whistles, it just does the job of cleaning floors. So you'll save a lot of money if you don't want the fancy displays and the talking feature you'll get on some of the Tinko's. So here's the tank, as I said, hot water, one cap full of cleaning solution. Make sure the cap is closed. You can give it a bit of a shake to make sure that the solution is fully mixed in with water. When it is, you just pop the clean water solution tank back, push it until it clicks. These are the control buttons at the top of the handle. This button switches the Tinko on and off, and this button selects maximum water flow. Also, the Tinko will not operate unless it's in the operating position. So even with the on off button in the on position, if the Tinko is upright, the cleaner won't function. They say the proof of the pudding is in the eating and the proof that this Tinko is actually going to work is in the demonstration. So let's get on with it. Okie dokie, so it's time to fill the clean water container with hot water and solution. So just top it up to the max fill line. That's it, I've gone a little bit over, but I don't suppose it matters. And then all I need is one capful and that's all the cap is. And pop that into the water. Make sure the lid's closed properly. And then, whoops, swirl it around over the sink in case you spill any. And now it's time to put it back into the cleaner. Can you get out? I'm in the conservatory ready to try the Tinko for the first time. There was a rug in the middle, so I've taken that out and the table on top of it. So I've got a nice area to test this floor washer out. Now, you don't have to sweep or vacuum the floor before you use this machine because it's a two in one. It will get rid of the dry debris as well as washing. But I would recommend if your floor has a lot of dirt on it, a lot of larger particles, 
I personally would sweep or vacuum before using this. But this floor, there's a few bits of dust, things that the cats have brought in from outside, I suspect, and looks like there's some paw prints as well. So I'm going to leave it as it is and see how effective the Tinko is at cleaning this floor. The instructions for the Tinko are a little bit vague when it comes to actually using the machine. So I'm not sure if I have to activate the max water flow button as well as the on off button. I don't know if it's going to automatically put this solution down just by turning it on and the max flow button is for extra solution or do I have to press both at the same time? So I'm first going to start the cleaner just by turning the machine on and see if it starts to put some uh, of the solution onto the floor. If it doesn't, I obviously have to press the max flow button as well. Now, apologies for the sun going in and out, but hopefully we can see what the machine's doing. And obviously we'll look at the dirty water tank when I've cleaned this room. Okay, well, let's get cleaning. Well that's the conservatory floor done and as it's pretty warm in here today the floor dried within a couple of minutes. In fact a lot of the floor was dry before I finished cleaning. This machine is quite economical on solution. Now because this is a laminate floor I didn't want to over wet it so I didn't press the maximum water flow button so it was just on the regular setting. And it's pretty economical with the solution. Um, there's still just over half a tank left in there. I went over a few areas more than once, but for daily cleaning, I think you could clean quite a large area, not on the max flow button, but just using the normal setting, just to do a daily clean. It's uh, pretty economical with the water, and as you saw, it only uses a small capful of solution per full tank. Before I go to clean the kitchen and the dining area, and then the hallway, we can have a look at the dirty water. This floor didn't look dirty especially, but hopefully we can see in this bright light. That's the dirty water it's picked up. See I can kneel on the floor. It's bone dry now. Let's just take the lid off. I don't want to drip any dirty water. Not sure if we can quite see in there, but it is. It's pretty dirty. Maybe you'll be able to see a bit better there. So I'm going to empty it. I mean, it's not full yet. That's the max fill line. So I could clean more of the floor without uh, emptying it, but I will empty it and continue cleaning. First the dining room, then the kitchen.
That's the dining room cleaned and <laughs> looking at the water, the dining room floor was dirtier than the conservatories. Now, these floors looked perfectly clean and this house that I'm cleaning is very, very clean and tidy. So I wouldn't want to say anything against the householders, especially the lady of the house. She won't be able to hold her head up at the Women's Institute if I was to reveal this is the dirt that came off her very clean looking dining room floor. Look at that. <laughs> I'm very surprised. I had no idea how much dirt would be on this floor. I mean, I'm sure this house was clean before the owners went on holiday, but look, you can't deny that that is a lot of dirt and I'm not faking anything. I bought this myself. I don't get paid by Tinco. I didn't get this given free. It's all my own work and all my own money that's gone into making this video and buying the product. But I'm showing you the dirt in a very clean looking house from a very clean looking floor. Well, I have almost run out of solution. I think I've used up more solution than normal because I've been filming. I think if I was to whip around every day with this machine, I could do all the hard floors in this house without having to put new solution in. But for the kitchen and for the hall, I will be putting some more solution. And of course, emptying out this dirty water. That's the kitchen floor cleaned. It's a relatively small kitchen, so I've hardly used any of the solution. You can see it's still almost full, but I have collected a lot of dirty water. Look at that. Now, some people, when I demonstrate various floor washers, they say, it's too much trouble. I'd rather use a mop and bucket. Well, I haven't used a mop and bucket to clean my floors for many, many years. And one reason I don't use a mop and bucket is because you're spreading dirty water back on the floor when using that method. Because once you've dipped the mop back in the water after you've cleaned an area, you're putting dirt in that water. No matter how much you squeeze it out, you're still spreading more dirt on the floor. With this type of machine, you're only putting down clean solution. And this clean solution is being agitated into the floor and then sucked up into the separate dirty water tank. That is why I will always wash my floors with a machine similar to this. There's no way I will go back to a mop and bucket. I'm now going to demonstrate Tinko's self-cleaning program. For this to work, you need the machine plugged in and charging and stood on its storage base. Also, make sure that the dirty water container is empty and you've got some solution left in the clean water tank. All we have to do now to start the self-cleaning feature is to press the power button and hold it for around three seconds and then the machine will run through its cleaning cycle. That's the cleaning cycle finished and I recommend you do this after each use and of course 
you need to empty the dirty water and that's dirty water taken from the roller brush also once you've emptied this give it a bit of a rinse out and leave it to air dry for a more thorough clean from time to time you can of course remove the roller take it out of the machine and clean it manually but that certainly looks clean it's only if you've cleaned up some really dirty messes you might have to take that out and give it more thorough clean but that's certainly clean enough for the next use so I'll just pop it back so all in all I am extremely impressed with this Tinko. again look you'll see a bit of mess here it's always a good idea from time to time you don't have to do it every time but that could be rinsed out and given a bit of a clean and left to air dry but that's ready for me for the time I use it again it really has impressed me I've used this Tinko Breeze on a number of hard surfaces including laminate, cushion vinyl and ceramic tile and it's done a fantastic job on all of them. I even had the idea of taking this outside and using it on the plastic decking in the patio and it was absolutely fantastic at that as well. It even picked up leaves and petals from the flowers and picked it all up into the tank for easy disposal it's made a real difference you'd think that uh, plastic decking is self-cleaning when it rains but it's surprising how grubby and dusty it can look especially if it hasn't rained for a while so it's good for that as well if you have any comments or questions about this Tinko hard floor washer please comment below and I'll see you all very soon for the next video thanks for watching and bye for now